It's me, Megan, and this is Cooking Caliente. If you are new, I do cooking videos. If you are a subscriber, hi, thanks for coming back. And today's video is my weekly check-in. So I'll be going over exactly what you can expect for the upcoming week regarding my recipes and videos. And initially, I know I was going to make some Puerto Rican mofongo. However, when we went to the grocery store on Friday, I saw the spaghetti squash in the produce aisle and I really had a craving for my spaghetti squash and meat sauce pasta. So I ended up getting a spaghetti squash and figured I can do that video and do the Puerto Rican mofongo probably towards the end of the week. My spaghetti squash video will probably be either tomorrow or the next day, which means I'll probably upload it either Tuesday or Wednesday. And then my mofongo, I'll probably create that on Friday and maybe upload it on Saturday. We'll see, I'll keep you posted. And I really love my spaghetti squash pasta because if you've never cooked spaghetti squash, you basically cut the entire thing in half, it's usually about this big, cut it directly in half and you take all of the seeds out, kind of like a pumpkin, and then you'll put some olive oil, salt, pepper, I put it flat down on a sheet pan put it in the oven for about an hour until it gets nice and soft. Then you'll shred it with a fork and I'll put my meat sauce on top with some cheese and oh my gosh, it's so good. It's really a hearty feeling dish, but it has a lot fewer calories because of the spaghetti squash. You're not using actual pasta and it's very paleo friendly. This was a recipe that I used multiple times when me and my husband were doing the paleo diet. So if you're into that, Please stick around and watch that video. And I will put all of the ingredients for the recipes in the description box when I go ahead and make them in case you would like to follow along or make it yourself later on. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed my chorizo video. I had so much fun making it. It was the first video recipe that I was able to use my new camera and it was so much easier actually doing the cooking and being able to just look up at you guys and explain exactly what I was doing. So I'm looking forward to doing my spaghetti squash video and being able to use my camera as well. It'll make it so much more easy. And today, with the chorizo I made, I ended up, I posted a picture on my Instagram. I ended up making a corn and chorizo soup. And it was so flavorful and delicious. I am definitely a soup girl. That is like my favorite type of food, I guess you could say. And my husband, he's not really much into soup. He likes more hearty dishes, but I love soup. And it came out so delicious. Um, if you're interested in that, go ahead and comment below and I'll try and, I kind of came up with it off the top of my head, but I could try and recreate it and figure out exactly what portions I ended up using or what I liked. Um, yeah, let me know and go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video and it will be posted on Sunday, so tomorrow. All right, I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope you have a great upcoming week. Thanks so much. Bye guys.